Hello and welcome to the program. You're watching the Daily V News by the VNA. And in today's program, we'll cover the following stories. Vietnam will do its utmost to facilitate the traditional friendship and strategic partnership with India. Vietnamese and European specialists meet in the Central Highlands to talk human rights for ethnic minorities. The Ministry of Finance announces the rise in retail prices for petrol and other petroleum products. Vietnam will do its utmost to increasingly deepen the traditional friendship and strategic partnership with India to bring practical benefits to both countries. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dũng was speaking at a reception for visiting Indian Minister of Commerce, Industry and Textile, Anand Sharma, in Hanoi on March 8. Dũng said Minister Sharma's visit to Vietnam will contribute to further boosting Vietnam-India cooperation on the basis of the two countries' great potential. Countries have seen strong development in economic, trade and investment cooperation in past years, with two-way trade reaching nearly four billion US dollars last year. Zum said he believes that strong development will be a driving force for the two countries to achieve seven billion US dollars in bilateral trade in the future. The PM said he hopes India will create favourable conditions for Vietnamese goods to enter the country affirming Vietnam always supports India's investment projects in Vietnam, especially large-scale projects. Minister Sharma proposed the establishment of a committee at the departmental level to deal with difficulties and step up bilateral cooperation in the fields of energy, information technology and pharmaceuticals in the near future. On March 7, the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, the Indian Consulate, and the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry organized the Vin Vietnam India Business Forum in Ho Chi Minh City with visiting executives from nearly 20 Indian companies taking part. Minister Sharma said Indian companies want to be active participants in sectors like energy, technology, pharmaceutical, healthcare, agriculture and infrastructure in Vietnam since they have experience and technological capability and are willing to share their experiences and transfer technology. He said the two sides should give top priority to cooperation in three important sectors, namely energy, food and health care. On March 7th, Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung affirmed Vietnam's willingness to enhance cooperative relations with Ukraine while acting as a bridge for the country to access the ASEAN community. He received Ukrainian Foreign Minister Konstantin Grushenko during his two-day working visit to Vietnam. At the reception, Prime Minister Dung praised the two countries' current cooperative agreements, saying they helped deepen their traditional relations. He suggested the two sides negotiate a free trade agreement, creating favorable conditions for Vietnam's seafood products to enter Ukraine's market, increasing scholarships for Vietnamese students to study in Ukraine and supporting the Vietnamese community in Ukraine. For his part, the Ukrainian foreign minister said his visit aimed to implement cooperative agreements approved during Prime Minister Zung's visit to his country last October, especially in the fields of economy, trade and investment. Grishenko affirmed his country's effective implementation of agreements reached at the 12th section of the Intergovernmental Commission on Economic Trade science and technology cooperation between the two sides. On the same day, Foreign Minister Phạm Bình Minh held talks with his Ukrainian counterpart. The two sides agreed on measures to boost bilateral cooperation in the fields of economy, trade, investment, education and training, science and technology, as well as support each other at international forums. And on March 7th, the Prime Minister of Laos, Thong Sin Thamavang, received a delegation from the Vietnamese Ministry of Justice, headed by Minister Ha Hung Kuang in the capital city of Vientiane. The Prime Minister said he believes the Vietnamese officers' trip will help to promote more cooperation and solidarity between both justice ministries. He spoke highly of the talks between the two ministries, saying 
It will help create conditions for the implementation of joint initiatives on human resources training for Laos. The Vietnamese minister said that there has been an increase in cooperation between the two justice ministries, especially since the Conference on Justice, attended by provinces lying on each side of the Vietnam-Laos border. Fifty specialists from Vietnamese ministries, agencies and the European delegation to Vietnam met in the Central Highlands province of Lâm Đồng on March 7th and 8th to talk human rights for ethnic minorities. The specialists discussed laws and policies on ethnic minorities and the rights of ethnic minorities in Vietnam, including the rights to benefit from social welfare policies, political rights and property ownership rights. Iwa Chilinski, a senior expert from the European Centre in Vietnam, said Vietnam has obtained good results in ensuring human rights for ethnic minority people. The specialists and representatives from the central highland provinces of Lam Dong, Xia Lai, Gondum, Dak Lak and southern Binh Phuoc province proposed a number of measures to step up protection of human rights for ethnic minorities. The topics covered included land policies, protecting local cultures, education, vocational and personnel training, and continued reform of the legal system for ethnic minorities. They agreed that the government needs to boost investment and better utilise the potential of each ethnic minority group to help them escape from poverty and develop local economies. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment has announced the National Climate Change Strategy and Climate Change and Sea Level Rise Scenario for Vietnam. Let's see the details. The strategy, approved by the Prime Minister on December 5, 2011, underlies the state's leading role and the community's enthusiastic involvement in dealing with climate change. Comprising six components, the strategy outlines 10 strategic tasks, overall objectives, priority projects to be implemented in 2011-2015, and plans for 2016-2025 as well as objectives for 2050 with a vision to 2100. The new climate change and sea level rise scenario for Vietnam is updated with new data and calculating methods of the climate system as well as new climate elements to serve designing and planning work. The Mekong River Comedy handed over 12 hydrographical stations funded by France to the Vietnamese side at a ceremony in the Mekong Delta city of Cần Thơ on March 7th. Our reporter has more. Half of the draft monitoring stations are located in the Mekong Delta region and four in the Central Highlands. It helped Vietnam minimize damage to property and loss of life caused by floods and managed water sources in the Mekong River Basin and enable the country to set up a system to collect and transmit hydrographical data throughout the basin. The project was initiated by the Mekong River Committee with technical assistance provided by the World Meteorological Organization and funding coming from France. The Ministry of Finance has announced that the domestic retail price for Ron 92 petrol, including value-added tax, increased from 20,800 Vietnamese dong to 22,900 Vietnamese dong, uh, equivalent to 0.99 U.S. dollars to 1.09 U.S. dollars per liter at 4 p.m. on March 7th. Let's take a look. Diesel prices also experienced a rise of 1,000 Vietnam domes from 20,400 to 21,400 Vietnam domes per liter. The ministry said domestic dealers and distributors have suffered from low domestic retail prices there against those from countries such as China, Laos and Cambodia. It said the country was in dire need of petrol price adjustment, adding that the hike included 13 to 41 percent of the adjustment, which should have increased under government degree 84 to allow businesses to adjust petrol prices when those on the world market fluctuate. The ministry said it had lowered the import tax on petrol and oil from the current 4 percent to zero the same day. 
According to ministerial information, the state budget last year decreased by 20 trillion Vietnam dongs or 952 million US dollars due to overspending on price stabilization funds. And we have covered all the stories for today. Thank you for tuning in and see you tomorrow.